First, a man and woman arrested and charged with running a brothel out of a Las Vegas home. A Metro Police report says Heng Van Ho and Yushi Yang Xian also faces charges for living off the earnings from prostitution, money laundering and pandering. And anchor Abel Garcia joins us live in front of the home near Decatur and Flamingo. And Abel, I know you spoke with neighbors about this. What did they have to say? Yeah, most certainly, Trish. I mean, when you take a look at this home, you wouldn't really think much of it. But these neighbors that we're talking to are saying they would have never expected something like this to happen right here. Now, of course, they see that many cars come and go throughout this area, but they never would have thought a brothel would just be a few doors down from their home. From the outside, it looks like just another home in the neighborhood. But during the span of two weeks, police say 196 men went in and out of this house. According to a Metro Police report, this captured the attention of many and police received a tip. Detectives say the home near Decatur and Flamingo was being used as an illegal brothel. This is Las Vegas, so it's hard to be surprised on some of these things that happen around here in town. Two adults, one man and one woman were arrested on August 17th. They faced charges of running a brothel, pandering, living off the earnings of prostitution and money laundering. Police say the two property owners lived at another home in the southwest part of town, but brought sex workers to this home. Police surveillance video shows the owners would bring in groceries and the workers inside would rarely exit. Martin Ostrowski lives just a few doors away. While he says he has seen many cars parking on his street, he would have never expected this to happen here. Well, if it's a brothel, there's probably drugs involved over there as well. And, you know, so that's not good. And there's a lot of little kids that, there's a half a dozen kids that live right here. Police say a patrol officer stopped a man leaving the home in a Ford pickup truck. The report says he was at 4705 Via San Rafael, where he paid an Asian female $200 for full service. The pickup driver said he responded to an ad on Craigslist. The new United States Attorney for the State of Nevada, Jason Frierson, says this is not what Nevada should be known for. I think that there are going to be opportunities for us to make it clear that Nevada is not a safe haven for sex trafficking. And we don't want, uh, you know, we don't want that to become part of uh, what, what folks come to the state for. Uh, the police report says that based on the surveillance video, men went in and out of the home between July 7th and July 21st of this year. For Ostrowski, he says he's considering moving. I can't believe it. I, I haven't noticed the traffic because I just don't pay attention. And back out here live, we just went from door to door talking to these neighbors and they say they are so shocked to have this so close to them. They're even very concerned about their own families. And of course, they're just so thankful to have those two owners of this property now behind bars. Now that that court hearing is slated for September 7th. And of course, we'll continue to follow this story more here on air and online. I'm Abel Garcia reporting live from Spring Valley.